The St. Louis circuit attorney found a man's murder conviction was fabricated, and today he'll get a new hearing in a 1994 case. Lamar Johnson was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. He has served 24 years in prison and has maintained his innocence. News Force Justin Andrews is live at the courthouse this morning where there's a hearing set for 9 o'clock this morning. Justin. Yeah, Prosecutor Kim Gardner is set to ask a judge for a new trial right here at the courthouse later today. The jaw dropper in this is that Gardner questions how one eyewitness can identify Johnson as the shooter, even though the gunman was wearing a full black ski mask. On top of that, her report finds the only eyewitness was given $4,000 in payments. Her office uncovered physical evidence of compensation that the defense team was unable to obtain. That is now a key piece in this case. Plus, other men confessed to the crime and one wrote, I know Lamar Johnson is innocent of the crime because I was there and Lamar Johnson was not there. Gardner calls the investigation improper and claims detectives used unconstitutional police tactics. This murder case lacked physical evidence and relied heavily on the key eyewitness and testimony police uncovered about a motive. Johnson has sworn he did not do it. He first approached the Midwest Innocence Project more than a decade ago. You know, I've lost a lot. Uh, destroyed whatever, you know, closeness that I could have developed with my daughters. My mother's old now, and, uh, you know, I'm not there to really, to really take care of her like I would like. So, uh, it's just been hard. It's just been hard. All right, so this will all be sorted in court today later at 9 o'clock this morning. We do know this, that this could set a chain of legal events, and that, that is something that his attorneys are hoping that will allow Johnson to become a free man. Again, we'll be following this one closely. We'll have a reporter inside the courtroom later this morning. We are live downtown this morning. I'm Justin Andrews, News 4. All right, Justin, thank you.